So in this problem, they have what is the smallest value the angle can have if you don't want the rope to snap. So you have the angle, and this is the force. This is the for tension force that will cause the rope to break. So once again, all you do is just draw a free body diagram. So you have the guy in the middle represented by a dot. You have all the forces acting on him, which is going to be gravity and tension force on either side. And this is just to show you which one's positive. And then you just set up the x and y components of all the forces. So in the x direction, we actually only have two forces because there's nothing out here. But there is the x component here. Where I got this is just, um, if this is the x component, I just moved it up from here to here. And so um, all I'm going to do is just the positive side, right, is this is going to be the positive x component minus the negative part, which is here. So if it's the same thing um, subtracted from the same thing, it's going to be 0. Therefore, we don't have to worry about it. Um, next, we have the, f um, the y components. So in the positive, um, positive direction, we're actually going to have 2, right? Because if I was just calculating this one, um, then I would actually get a y component for this. And if I was calculating this one, I would get a y component. And since the angles are exactly the same, I would just multiply by 2 and get my answer. And then I got sine, um, it's, it's the same equation from the last part. Um, so it would be force times sine theta. And this time, actually, since it's now 11.1, .1, we're going to be solving for theta. Um, next, uh, well, actually, I can show how I got that. So it's just going to be, um, it's just going to be sine, uh, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Um, and then let me draw that picture, that picture. So it's going to be like that, the angle. So this is the opposite. This is the force of tension. This is the hypotenuse. And then all I did was, if it's sine theta, it would be sine theta is equal to opposite, opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the force of tension. So it would be opposite over force of tension. And then just multiply each side by um, force of tension. To get force of tension is equal to sine theta um, is equal to the opposite side. And then all I'm saying is that since there's two exact forces on either side, you just multiply by two. So that's how I got that. And then, then what you do is just subtract by the any negative um, y components, which is going to be gravity. Because since gravity is pointing down, it's going to be negative. And then it will equal zero because it, um, the guy is in, e in equilibrium. And they give you that um, in the problem, that he's in equilibrium. So it will equal zero. So now since we don't have to worry about the x component, we can just solve for the y component. So just plug in any information you know. Well, you know that the maximum tension force will be 2.55 times 10 to the 4th. So we can plug that in. And then it will be sine theta. Theta is what we're um, trying to solve for. Um, gravity is just mass times acceleration, or mass times gravity, um, which will be 858.48. So just divide each side by 2 times 2.55 times 10 to the 4th. And remember that this is arc sine because in your calculator you'll put arc sine because we want um, the theta, uh, we want the degrees. So here we get 0.9645, um, but it will actually be 3 sig figs is um, here it was 3 sig figs. So it'll just be 3 sig figs and then remember um, uh, that degrees can't be negative so we don't have to worry about that. And the final thing is units and it will be in degrees. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.